Hello, my name is Lewis and welcome to Gathering the Magic. And today we have Commander Legends and I am so excited for this set. I'll go through the first few quite slow whilst I'm talking about it. But yeah, Commander Legends, we've got 70 new legends in a set. And yeah, it's obviously meant to be for draft purposes. Draft three packs and then, you know, make a 60 card Commander deck and then play with your friends. Yeah, so let's see what we get in the first pack. Go to the Uncommons, Scale Behemoth, Dreamstone, Hedron. Oh my God, Sakashima's Will. I don't know why, I feel like that is a pretty valuable card. I'm pretty sure looking back editing it, I'll, uh, I'll probably be wrong, but I feel like that's a good card. And then for the first legendary creature, so it's a double rare pack. We have Lathiel, the Bounteous Dawn, beautiful. And then we have Alina Kessig Trapper, one of the first cards that was previewed for the set. First strike, 4-3, pretty damn cool. And then for the foil common, we've got Impulsive Pilfer. The foil is actually really, really nice. That's pretty damn cool. And we have the Monarch for the first token. Now, of course, if you are a fan of all things MTG, then please do hit that subscribe button down below. Help support the channel. Nearly at 300 subscribers now, which is just absolutely awesome. And Command Tower, I really like that they've uh, that they've almost downgraded this to, to common. Really good stuff. Scarab Goliath, Commander Sphere, another card gone down to common and you love to see it in a Commander deck. Sisse's Ring. Okay, getting on to the Uncommons, Volcanic Dragon. And so the rare is Dawn Glade Regent. Again, using that Monarch mechanic that is returning and it's really, it's one of the more powerful Monarch ones you're gonna get. And for the first legendary creature, we have uh, Is It Pirate Captain? And we've got Numa Jagora Chieftain for the second. Uh, run away together again. The foils in this set. I saw it in Gavin Verhey's uh, box opening he did the other week. They're just they're really nice. It's like they've just done something extra to them, but really good stuff. And we've got a zombie token. So we've got 24 packs open in this box, or 22 now with this. And obviously you're looking for your jeweled lotus, mana drain, vampiric tutor, all of those. And I wouldn't mind getting those uh, Commander Jewel Lands that have come out. They look really, really cool. Let's see, let's see. Burning Anger. What are we gonna get? Court of Ambition. Again, another Monarch Rare. Very nice and, oh, yes, 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 yes. Uncommon, but this is one of the most valuable cards in the set right now and you can see why. Commanders have Menace and Death Touch. And then we've got Prava, the Steel Legion, Skilled Animator and Copy. Wow, 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 Falthus. I mean, like I said, the uh, the value of these cards, even in the next week before they're actually released, they will tank a buttload. I mean, there's no way Jeweled Lotus is gonna stay on, uh, what's it now, about $100, $100 maybe, maybe a bit more. It's going to tank to about 20 people, reckon, and I can absolutely see that happening. Lawseeker Stone and Keeper of the Accord is the rare for this one. Nice little 1-1 one, one Human Soldier Creature Creator. Hamza, Guardian of Arashin. And, oh yes! <laughs> nice! So we've got Jessica Thrice Reborn. That is wicked. That's beautiful. So we've already got that borderless... Planeswalker, that is some lovely, lovely stuff. Mythic, oh, that is beautiful. And we've got the rare Scrounging Bandar. Wow, so we've got our first Mythic and our first, and probably only, borderless card. And something else I really want to get in this set is those foil etched cards. They look absolutely incredible. Rupture Spire. There we go. Yeah, there's even quite a few commons, uncommons, that are worth quite a bit. It's, it's quite a good set money-wise, but like I said, obviously this will this will go down. Three visits, good for searching for them. Forest and Amphin Mutineer, 
is the rare. What are our two legends going to be? Glacian Power Stone and Beaches. <laughs> what a beach. Oh, Breach. Breach. Still a beach. And Marble Diamond is the foil. And we've got our first Prismatic Piper there for you. Prismatic Piper, of course. Um, I think it's one in every six packs has that sort of right at the bottom. I'm not sure why they've got the need to put that in one in every six packs. I'm still not sure if it's something that will actually be used. Barhaven Elf, another really good land searching card, especially with my good old friend Yarok, Terramorphic Expanse. Yeah, there's, oh, there we go, Reclamation Sage. This is a beautiful pack for Yarok, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, a load of really cool reprints as well as, like I said, 70 new uh, 70 new legends. And we've got another mythic, and it's another really, really good mythic, Hell Kite Corsa. You love to see it. And then we've got double rare pack, Sengir, Vampire Noble, 4-4 Flyer, beautiful, and Rayav Master Smith. And then we've got for the foil, Malfield Twins. Pretty, pretty damn good pack there. So what, we're we about six, six packs in, something like that. Looking good so far. Another card I really want, everyone wants is that Opposition Agent. Absolutely filthy stuff there. Wouldn't mind a scroll rack as well. So many of these uh, diamonds in here, which is pretty, pretty cool. And as we get to the uncommons, we've got what deal of Nylia, Arcane Signet. I don't know, some people like it, some people don't. I mean, it is an absolute commander staple, isn't it? And there we go, Nevin Yarrow's Disc, another wicked reprint from, I think, was this in one of the earliest sets? Maybe even Alpha? Uh, yeah, really, really cool board wipe option. And then for the rare, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. The Salvage Splicer and the other rare is Keskit the Flesh Sculptor. And we've got Prosperous Pirates as the foil in this pack. Lovely stuff. Yeah, like I said before, I mean if you are if you are brand new to this channel and not caught up with all the uh, the prickly pal madness, please do hit that subscribe button, show your support, that would be wicked. And we've got Ambush Viper. Another really good option for really any any deck that's got green in it in Commander. I do say so myself. Filigree Familiar, another one that's sort of been downgraded in rareness, but that is not a bad thing at all. Sort of like a poor man's solemn simulacrum. And let's keep moving. Keep moving forward. Torment Volcanic Torrent. Court of Grace is the rare. And another Monarch. You know what we've not hit so far? We've not hit... All those Cascade cards. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. The Naya Warrior himself, Jared Carathian. Wicked card again. Another Monarch, uh, Monarch's, well, sort of anti-Monarch card this is, I guess. But yeah, really cool card. <laughs> We've got a triple rare pack. Triple rare pack. You love to see it. Col, Col Fenor, the last you. Vigilance Reach 3-7. Really wicked card. Lovely stuff and rare. Again, lovely foil. And I'll try not to say lovely again this video. <laughs> but yeah, wicked foil. Beautiful stuff there. Ah, a three rare pack. Didn't think, oh God, struggling to open this one. Didn't think I'd see that. Maybe we will at some point get a four rare pack. Although I think the odds of that is like 0.5% or something. Something ridiculous run away together. Yeah, I mean, we are seeing a few reprints now in those common slots, but it is a big set, 361 cards. So really drafting with Commander being Singleton, there is uh, there is less likelihood that you're gonna get, you know, duplicates, which you don't wanna see. And moving on to the rare, Court of Bounty. Again, another Monarch, we want Cascade. But then maybe we'll get Cascade and we'll Cascade into Cascade and Cascade into Cascade. And we've got Rock Wrath, zero mana, not, oh, okay, it tricks me. I thought that was some sort of, you know, like they used to be up there. I thought it was some sort of flip, 
flip commander, not one burst strike menace trample. And the second one is slurk all ingesting. I love oozes, oozes are cool, and that is a cool ooze. Oh. And the foil is fertilid again, reprinted, but you get it in this set, don't you? Because it is, it is a commander green staple creature ramp all sorts there we go okay no foil elections yet or no um commander lands but maybe this pack i've got a good history on this channel of, of calling when the next pack is gonna is gonna be a banger and i've got a feeling this pack is going to be an absolute banger opal palace another good common card might be worth a book or so at the minute uh, Metron Colossus going on to the Uncommons Victimized Pen and Blade Immaculate Magistrate is the rare Elf plus one plus one that is wicked very very good for those Elf Commanders and Gil Anara Elf Commander <laughs> yeah um, Gil Anara is the first and Nadia Agent of Dusknell is the second rare and we have Cage of Hands for that foil slot. Okay, moving on to the next pack. Yeah, I absolutely love this set. I mean, 70 new commanders is wicked. I, myself, I really mainly only play commander. So it's just, yeah, it's just stuff you love to see. And I just love, well, I, I'm a fan of... Um, partner but i don't really uh, know if i'd use it uncommon legendary creature i've just realized i've just gone past <laughs> i've just gone past blasphemous act a really really good rare and yeah too caught up in my own words blasphemous act wicked rare there and uh first legendary creature arden and then we've got tuya bear claw there we go cool little gruel commander who doesn't love some bears? Uh, Renegade Tactics for the foil and another Prismatic Piper. <laughs> Can't believe I just completely overlooked Blasphemous Act then. Too busy waffling on about <laughs> the fact that I uh, play Commander or talk, what was I talking about? Pipe, uh, um, partner. God, absolute waffle. Let's go to the next one. This box has been all right so far. Phyrexian Triniform is the rare for this 9-9 Golem with Encore. And Bell Borker. So we've got double rare pack. Really cool Boros creature. Obviously Boros isn't really popular colour in Commander, but this is a, it's a pretty cool card. And Siani Eye of the Storm for the second legendary creature. Nice, nice. And Dago. So we've got three legendary creatures in one pack, one foil. Nice to see Pirates return as well in this set. Yeah, seems like a pretty good box so far. My last box, if you haven't seen it, do check it out. The set booster box Zendikar Rising. It was it was alright. I mean it was I mean as far as my boxes go, I tend to have pretty good boxes on this channel. Another command tower, but that one was a bit of a stinker. But do check it out anyway if you've if you've not totally just selling it short meteor golem nice little uncommon good to see back in commander legends flanking herald there we go that is the first cascade sword commander spells you have commander spells you cast have cascade that is pretty damn cool as far as cascade and commander goes nice stuff and uh non-foil dargo we've got in the last pack and another Numa Dragara Chieftain. Is that the first duplicate commander we've got so far? Perhaps. And a three visits foil. Lovely stuff. Yeah, even opening a box like this, it's just really good to stock up on those staples that you do need, like a command tower, things like that. Maybe get another couple of arcane signals. It's just a just pretty good to keep stuck. Rupture Spire Land. Okay. Let's see, maybe this is gonna be that foil etched. It's gotta be gotta be seen. I really hope we do get one. Uh, Warden of Evos Isle. Explosion Riches and the rare is a Blade Griff prototype. Three, two, flying. There we go. 
Rayav Master Smith, and the second Keskit again. Okay, and Seer's Lantern, artifact that you can scry or add for mana. Pretty good thing to have. And a Thrull. Okay, only, only two Mythic so far, but we have got quite a few valuable cards already, and still got about 10 packs or so to go, so still plenty of potential value in here to get. Terramorphic Expanse again. Again, another just sort of staple that you, you love to stock up on rather than buy. And Hall Breacher is the rare. Flash, uh, there we go. And our Giatha Crossroads Augur. Double rare pack, five, six, flying, scry, and partner. Pretty cool, and another Prava, which you've already got. But again, it's a really cool commander. Really, really cool commander. Good option. Beef up those tokens as well. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. You get out of here. Yes, yes, yes. We've got our first foil etching. And they, <laughs> I could tell you in person, they, they look absolutely insane. They look amazing. Wow, wow, wow. Six four flying partner. That is absolutely beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Yeah, I can't really think of what else to say for that. That is uh, that's brilliant. Let's, uh, let's hope we pack another. That's that's incredible. God, that was absolutely amazing. And as we come to the last pack of the second block, so after this we're two thirds of the way through. Yeah, those four legends are incredible. Foundry Inspector, another artifact staple if you're running any of those artifact commanders. Forceful Denial, another really cool common. Cascade and counter target spell. That is some good stuff. Ancestral Blade. Yeah, like I said, those four elections are just incredible. What's you know what they're doing, don't they? Making so much money. Doing all sorts of, you know, extended art cards. And there we go. Court of Cunning is a rare. Yeah, like I said, doing all those extended art cards and, you know, foil etchings. There's just so much almost to collect now that they're, they must be laughing all the way to the bank. Ghost of Ramirez de Pietro and Foil Captain's Corner, the Wicked Foil. Okay, last eight. What is this gonna bring up for us? Surely that scroll rack, surely that jeweled lotus, something something big, isn't it? Something's big, something big is coming. And let's get through all of these. Sunset Pyramid, Arcane Signet again. Frenzy Celebrate Body of Knowledge. This is a card I actually really, really wanted myself. I'm not sure uh, off the top of my head the value of it, but it's just perfect. In a Tishana deck that I run all around, no maximum hand size, drawing cards, that is that is perfect for it. It's a beautiful, beautiful card. And Hans Ericsson, one of the new new commanders, is just uh it's just brilliant, isn't it? What a what a happy, what a happy man. Yeah, it's really, really cool. And, okay, we've got three rares. It's a three rare pack, and it's another Cascade. Wicked stuff. Uh, it's not the it's not the four. I was really hoping it'd be the four rare, trying to, trying to be chill. No, Spontaneous Mutation. Lovely pack. Two triple rare packs. You cannot complain, can you? It's, uh, yeah, it's really weird opening. I mean, obviously it's a booster box with 24 packs instead of instead of 36, and it's packs of 20 20 cards instead of the normal 15. It's uh, messing with my head. Get into the uncommons war room. Another good valuable. Is it is it valuable? I don't know. Editor me will tell me right now. Uh, but yeah. Really good card to have in Commander, especially if you're playing like a colourless. If you're playing colourless and use that, you're laughing. And Nevin Yarrell, wicked. Another, we've got we're onto a double rare pack and a really, really cool, cool Commander. We've got Nevin Yarrell's disc earlier. We're getting, we're getting the whole Nevin Yarrell collection. And Captain Vargas again. And Pilgrim's Eye Foil. And this thing. Way to put it down on the pack, this ugly, ugly thing. I am actually really curious to see how many people would use or are planning to use Prismatic Piper. 
I mean, like I said, it's not something I can ever see myself using. I like the idea and principle. <laughs> I mean, the art is the art is kind of freaky, but yeah. So uh, if you if you are planning to use it, let me know in the comments. It'd be pretty cool to know. Thought vessel. There we go. Tishana. Good stuff. No maximum hand size. You love to see it. And rings of bright half. Wow, wow, wow. That is wicked. Great, great card. Wow. Whenever you activate an ability, isn't that an ability? You may be too. Love, love this card. Wicked pull there. Miara, Thorn of the Glade for the first legendary creature. And Rebek for the second artifact control have protection from each converted mana cost and partner lovely stuff and a lovely foil ape for you to see the pack off yeah this set this set is is really really cool and i'm i'm really curious to see if the uh if the value in the box will sort of hold in the future will it's will it you know get more expensive like you know your classic masters boxes tend to or will it sort of just stay around the same like uh like any sort of standard set does like war of the spark throne of Eldraine, things like that and archon of coronation in at the rest like another monarch loving creature and zara we've got a double rare pack double rare is it creature there lovely stuff and Yuri, Master of the Review. Really cool sacking plus damage commander. And what we've got for the foil, Warden of Evos Isla, another creature that has been reprinted the hell out of in recent years. Oh, only four packs left. And I'm not gonna lie. Oh, ugly thing. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't want it to end. I don't want it to end. As a kid, I absolutely loved cracking packs of things like Pokemon, uh, used to pack, can not play quite a bit of a Yu-Gi-Oh, like the original sets, so yeah, two in this is always so, so fun, and um, Plague Reaver is the rare, uh, Sacrifice Creatures, nice, 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 <laughs> okay, and we have Malcolm, the, uh, the most, the most fearful of names that you'll ever see for Legendary creature. I'd love to know who named that. That is some good stuff. And Kedis, Elemental Lizard Partner Commander. Okay. And oh, okay. We've got a foil rare. Keeper of the Accord again. We packed that towards the start of the video. But yeah, it won't say no to two rares in a pack, which we seem to get quite a bit of. God knows how much money as a kid my parents must have spent buying packs of Pokemon cards for me. I dread to think, but I only wish they'd have bought a few booster boxes and held on to them now. Oh, can you imagine? Could have sold it to all those YouTubers for loads of money. Return to dust. Good old instant there for Commander. And yeah, Elvish Dreadlord Death Touch Zombie Elf is the rare. And if we've got uh, the Salvage Splicer again, Ick te oh, I knew I'd mess up. Ick te kick. Ick, ick te kick. And Tormod. Oh, who doesn't love Tormod? Tormod the Desecrator. Lovely zombie wizard. And Blade Brand is the foil. Again, lovely foily stuff there for you. And another Prismatic Piper. I should have been counting how many I've got these throughout. There we go. Okay, and penultimate pack, and uh, I don't want it to stop. I don't want it to end. And let's see, are we going to get one more foil etched? Are we going to get just a ridiculously good card to end off this whole box opening? Another forceful denial. Lovely stuff. Is that a good sign? Codex Shredder. Proud of the, per proud of the perfect, not prefect, not a school. And Promise of Tomorrow is the rare okay that's it again it's a it's a pretty good card it's no vampire tutor it's no mana drain but uh pretty cool nonetheless and kark kark the thumbless oh this reminds me of one of my friends um yeah this is another really cool legendary creature obviously double rare box 
and Kelef Sunmane Familiar for the other legendary. Whenever a command you control attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Lovely stuff. <gasps> oh, yes, go on then. That is absolutely wicked. We got breaches earlier and we've got a foil etched breaches. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, I need to stop uh need to stop nerding out over these foil etchings. It's just a slightly different <laughs> it's just a slightly different card. But no, it's um uh, it's really really cool. You can see here, just like almost like the glisten. It's uh it is beautiful. And the monarch for the token. And the last pack. Will we get some really good last pack look? If not We'll just pretend that uh, that was our last pack because that was something special. Didn't think I'd be getting two of them in one box. That is so, so good. Terramorphic Expanse, Omen Speaker. Oh, what are we going to get? Moving on to the Uncommons. Come on, something really, really good. Command Beacon. Okay, 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 okay. It's a pretty good land to sort of finish off the box. And we go to Abomination of Lanawar. Another really cool legendary creature I am a big fan of. And we've got Malcolm again. Oh, if only we had three Malcolms, then we could have put one. We could have just put one Malcolm in the middle. That was a terrible, <laughs> terrible attempt at a joke. And uh, yeah, <laughs> Rupture Spiral for the foil. There we go. And we'll finish off with a, with a quick trip down memory lane. Sort of some of the highlights um yeah thank you all for watching um if you are still watching that is brilliant uh please do like this video and hit subscribe for all things mtg got a really really cool unique video hitting the channel this week uh for now i am all tapped out so i'll see you in the next video